I read a paper about um, uh, by the Russians uh, about a, a certain kind of um, uh, calcopyrite. Now, calcopyrite is a copper iron sulfide. It's very common. It's the principal mineral from which you get copper. Okay, calcopyrite. Now. They talked about this strange calcopyrite. It was very badly described and all, but it intrigued me. And um, so, and remember, those were the days of the Cold War. And so I just fired off a letter, you know, on the letterhead paper and all, uh, but not to the author, because the way the system worked there, you write to the academician that presented the paper. That's how the, their system was at the time. Uh, so I wrote to him and um, asked for a sample. Now, it's, it, it was really, people just laughed when I told them. Well, two months later, in a, in a brown box, I get a sample of ore from the famous Norilsk deposit in Siberia. This is, I mean, nobody else in the West had a piece from Norilsk because, you know, Cold War, secret uh, copper nickel deposit, massive, very rich, full of platinum metals. I mean, this was, you know, top secret stuff. You weren't supposed to give it away. Well, I got it. And I had a, a, a sawn cube about this size, about uh, three, four centimeters across. And so I sliced it and I took it over to Bob Trail at the Geological Survey. And, soon, and, and, and I had looked at it microscopically first with the optical microscope and found these very bright, white, shiny little bits in there about a tenth of a millimeter or slightly bigger and so on. So I asked them to analyze them and yeah, so um, two of them were minerals of palladium. Now palladium is one of the six platinum group elements and it's, it's very commonly used, uh, in, for example, in many, many alloys in industry, in, in motor cars and for the exhaust system and so forth, you know, for pollution control. So um, yeah, so there, there were, I had these two new minerals. I knew they were new because I did some research on them and this was that what led me into an interest in platinum group elements.